Hi, I am Mike Nathanson and this is The Rambling Architect. Before we begin, just a brief introduction. So my name is Mike Nathanson. Um, I have bachelor degrees in economics and in city and regional planning from Cornell University. And I'm currently a grad student in architecture at uh, the New Jersey Institute of Technology. I opened this YouTube channel because I wanted to start a conversation about the future of architecture in the 21st century. Now you may ask why architecture matters. Why do I care about the subject? Well, to put it most succinctly, uh, I can quote Winston Churchill who said, we shape our buildings and afterwards our buildings shape us. So architecture is not just about putting a pretty facade on a building, it is far more consequential than that. How and what we design not only reflects our values as a society, but it can in fact shape our values and how we perceive the world around us. And this is true not in some ethereal sense, but rather in concrete physiological and psychological terms. And I'll explain this point further in a later video. When architecture is done well, it can have tangible positive effects on health, motivation, happiness, sociability, productivity, and so on. And there are many ways that spatial design affects us that most people and even most architects are not even aware of. And this is again something I'll talk about in a later video. Architecture can be empowering or disempowering, it can be egalitarian or authoritarian. It can connect us to the people around us and the world or alienate us from it. And it can nurture our creativity or dull our senses. And architecture doesn't just affect us as individuals or as a society. It also has significant effects on our economy and the environment. So just to look at a few statistics, buildings in the US account for about 38% of CO2 emissions, 40% of material use, 72% of electricity consumption, and 30% of waste output. So these are significant numbers and it's important to think about how we design not only to take these factors into account, but also to lead the way in growing the economy while protecting the environment. So for all these reasons, architectural design is important. Now, if we look back at the 20th century, we see that for much of that period, there was a clear vision and clear principles that guided modern architecture. And these were in the form of the machine aesthetic and the concept that form follows function. This captured the imagination of many architects and galvanized and provoked creativity in the profession. And as a result, architects experimented in designs that either tried to embody the spirit of the machine aesthetic or respond and challenge it in many ways. It led to a great proliferation of ideas and brought great flourishing in designs that shaped our modern cities. The problem today is that we no longer have this common vision in architecture or common principles that define a design aesthetic in the 21st century. So many architects are doing great things on many fronts, but there is no clear common vision for 21st century architecture. And this is why my ambitious goal here is to come up with the principles that would define 21st century architecture. Of course, I don't claim to have all the answers, but I do want to share my thoughts on what I believe should be some of the principles for 21st century architecture, as well as some thought-provoking ideas. I believe that this project has to be a vibrant collaboration between architects, designers, artists, and absolutely anyone who believes he or she can contribute to the conversation. And this is why I encourage you to join the conversation, to comment on the videos, and to share your vision and ideas. Hopefully the result of this collaboration will be a common vision for 21st century architecture and beyond. So share your comments and thoughts, subscribe to my channel. Until next time, this is The Rambling Architect.